There are a number of geometry display settings you can use when working in Houdini. For example, flat wire shaded, which we are currently using, will display polygonal surfaces with hard edges and wireframes unshaded. If we go to the display geometry drop-down list, we can explore additional options. For example, choosing smooth shaded will give us the look of soft edges without the wireframes unshaded. We can also toggle on and off wireframe display by pressing the W key. Now let's load a different scene so that we can take a look at additional viewport display options. Before we continue, let's turn off the ortho grid. Now let's move down to the network editor pane and select the rubber toy object. You'll see that it's highlighted in the viewport. If we click on the blue display flag, we can toggle on and off visibility for the object. You'll notice that we have additional objects in the scene who have their visibility turned off. Let's turn on visibility for the waves node. And because we are currently at object level, we can double click on the node or hit the I key to take a look at the nodal network inside. You'll notice that the rubber toy is now transparent. This is because by default, Houdini is set to ghost all other objects except for the object you are currently editing. We can either change the setting to hide other objects, or we can change it to show all. Now let's go back up to the object level by hitting the hotkey U, and we'll turn on visibility for the spotlight. As you can see, our viewport has not been updated with any lighting or shadow information. This is because we need to turn on high quality lighting with shadows on first. Now we can see the lighting and shadow in the viewport. We can select the light and turn on the handles display and we'll change our view to side by side. Now we can grab the light handle and move it around in the scene to see the lighting and shadow information update in the viewport. Hitting spacebar B will maximize the perspective window. We can also turn on and off texture display as well. Simply right mouse button click over display materials on objects and select textures and we'll select geometry color as well. And we can do the same for specularity. Let's go back to our default lighting and actually, you can disable lights altogether. This will give you a flat shaded look. Let's go back to the default lighting and we'll look at additional display options. For example, you can turn on points, point normals, point numbers, and we can zoom in to take a closer look face normals, face numbers, and these are some of the display options inside Houdini.